Hello everybody and thank you for pressing play on that button today. Um, I am Gemma, the crafty little gem, here on YouTube and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I am in Team Smithy. And what we're going to do this month is, in July, we are going to do the Smithy's Stampers video hop. So you have arrived at mine and thank you again for pressing play on that button. And you will see absolutely fabulous demonstrations of anything in the annual catalogue that we are all doing as a team. Um, and we will get started. So, again, the theme is the annual catalogue. I have gone is in the moment stamp set. One of my favourite stamp sets of all time. I have gone with the masterfully made DSP. I have got plenty of that, so I'll be doing loads with that. And I have gone for the Melon Mambo cardstock. So I'm just going to get the other pieces out of the way. We are going to be doing a large double top open box. So I'll go through the pieces one by one with the scoring as well. And hopefully you'll make it along with me. If you like the project at the end, please press that subscribe button. It really does help my channel. So here we go, guys. So your first main piece of cardstock needs to measure 10 by 12. And what we're actually going to do on these is on all four sides, score at two and a half inches. And we're doing that again on all four sides. like so. We can then pop that out of the way and bring in our side pieces. Now you will need two that measure seven and one eighth by ten and one eighth and we're scoring both of them in exactly the same way. So on the seven and one eighth side you're going to score at seven and one eight uh, you're going to score at seven eighths of an inch so just before the one there then we're going to do three and three eighths so we are going there and then turn it around to the ten and one eighth side it doesn't matter which way you go because it's going to be the same on both sides and it's two and a half and seven and five eighths so even if we turned it that way it would be two and a half and seven and five eighths that way i'm just going to go out over this one again so again it's seven eighths of an inch three and three eighths of an inch on the longer side two and a half and seven and five And that is all the scoring that we have at the moment. So what we're going to do is we are going to bring our larger piece back in and burnish all of those score lines. I really hope you're liking the video hop so far. It's an absolutely fantastic team to be in. I absolutely love it. So thank you, Tricia, for that. Sorting out everything that we need as well. So the next thing we're going to do is, I'm just going to grab my other box, I do apologise. Okay. So we are cutting up, on the longer side, we are cutting up our score lines and we are just taking a wedge out. And what you'll notice in quite a few of my videos, I do leave this outside edge straight. And it just helps me line up the top bit. And we're going to do exactly the same on the other side. So we're mirroring, going up and taking a wedge out of that corner square. And again, on this side... And taking a wedge out of that corner square there so they are going to come up and in and form a box like so so if you turn it over 
get your glue. I am using Tombow today. And just take it up to that line there. I'm going to pop it on all four sides. Like so. And then I can just bring it in. Line up my edge here. But also this top should be lined up as well. And that's how you know you've got it right. Let that tack down for a bit and come across to this edge. So making sure that is straight and that is straight. And then we can repeat on the other side. Fold those in straight and straight. And again, on this side. Most people do cut um, sections out of both sides. It's entirely up to you how you feel best constructing your box, like so. And then what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to pop some layers of the DSP on these sides before I forget. So we will need two longer pieces. And they will measure six and seven eighths by two and three eighths. So just my Tombow again. Making sure my DSP is the right way up because this does have some typing on it. Turn it around the other way and do exactly the same. Just add a little bit of the Tombow. Make sure my text is the right way up. And we have a border. You can then just squidge down on those edges a little bit better to hold those into place. So that is your main box and we can pop that out of the way. And now it's time to work on the two sides. Again, we're gonna fold and burnish every score line that we have. both pieces like so and then what we're actually going to do is cut this so the pieces come onto the inside so along the long side again with your little tabs, your three, seven eighths of an inch tabs. You're going to cut up. We're going to cut the rectangle at the bottom away. We are cutting our section off there. And we are cutting a wedge there. However, now from the outside to this inside point, you're going to cut diagonal. So you get to see that gorgeous paper. You can do that either with your scoreboard or with your longer scissors. I'm going to repeat on the other side. So I'm taking that rectangle off, wedging it out there and there. And then again, from this outside coming into the middle, I prefer to do it this way line your scissors or your scoreboard up and there we have one side piece so i'll go through that again with your seven eighths of an inch tab across the bottom we are working up we are removing that bottom rectangle a wedge out of that 
now corner square wedging out of the seven eighths of an inch and taking that corner off and I just need to go in that's better slightly in to make that more of a point and I am now mirroring that side again here making sure you're wedging off that bit there and from this side to there so it mirrors that side cutting off like so so we'll pop those out of the way and we will be adding glue to our two tabs and just bring in that up so again I'm going to grab my Tombow add glue either side and bring that one in and over and making sure you're not going over that score line and again lining that side up making sure you're not going over that score line and then we can burnish that side down we are now going to repeat on this side again making sure that's there making sure we're not going over that score line and repeating on this side again making sure you're not going over that score line and pressing down so we're bringing the base back in and what will happen next is they will just get attached to the underneath on either side so if you pop them on it doesn't matter which way for now and we are just going to add our adhesive to the underside of these so we can pull them out and add some of your Tombow push the sides in and fold those over let them grab like so make sure everything fits nicely now it's up to you which side you have on top I normally have the left hand side on top but we are going to decorate these end panels and okay so these end panels and they measure sorry about that that was me Is that yeah that measures five by two and three eighths and we should have two pieces so again adding your adhesive making sure you have a nice border all the way around and attaching it to both sides making sure your text is the right way up Ooh. 
like so. And then what we have is two pieces of DSP. These are going to frame this top. So they measure three and five eighths by five. I'll just pop, pop that one down first. So I'm working on the right hand side. Check in the text is the right way up and you should have a nice border again all the way around. And pop that one down and the other side can go on. like so and that can actually be popped out of the way now i didn't do any of the mdsp on these sides because i thought it would end up being a little bit too much however you can if you want to that's entirely up to you but now we have the topper and i'm just going to pop a little bit more glue under that corner because it will just annoy me if that comes up So we have our cardstock piece and this measures six and a half by four and a half. Oops. Yep, four and a half. I have some DSP and this measures six and a quarter by four and a quarter. And I have my final stamping topper, which measures six by four. What I'm going to do is I am going to grab my mats and my ink and my stamp set and we are going for this one and getting a little sentiment on there as well. So I am using my stamping blocks. They're absolutely fab. And the Stampin' Up Memento ink. And I'm just gonna have her to the left hand side. And then A nice little sentiment at a jaunty angle there. Pop these away before they get lost. And I just to one side I do have my cleaner. And that's popped away and that can also go away too and then all we're going to do is start layering these up on top of each other so I'm gonna have that up slightly however I think I'm gonna have that one flat so I'm gonna come in with the Tombow again for the DSP Um, text the right way up and just a nice border all the way around. I'm going to come in with our dimensionals and just because this piece is a little bit bigger than I normally use. I'm going to pop six of those on. Okay. 
and pop the backs off. And get your nice border all the way around again before committing and popping down. We can then bring the box back in and we can have our top of pop popped on. So um, again, I'm going to turn it over that way because I know that I'm working on this side. Again, with a few dimensionals, one at the top, one at the bottom and one in the middle. And then the same on that side as well. So easy to take the backs off these, I love it. And then getting that in the centre, pop it down and lift it up, making sure your dimensionals are not coming through on that side. And there we go. And that is your double open top box. So I have got some goodies to go in this. This is more of a pamper set for one of my friends. Thank you for joining me and I hope you click play on the next button um, and I will leave a list of everybody who's taking part. Please subscribe if you like the projects that you see and I shall see you next time. Thank you for joining me. Bye bye.